What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk about something that I see almost weekly on these L5P trucks and this can really pertain to any diesel in general but particularly on this truck and that has to do with the air filter. Now a lot of times these trucks will run perfectly fine you know for long time and you won't have any issues then all of a sudden your truck will begin to develop you know a hesitation or sputter you could say surge but it's not the turbo surge it's just the engine being wonky 99 percent of the time people think it's something absolutely wrong with the truck i go and i ask them you know when's the last time you changed your air filter and the truck has 80 90 000, 100 000 miles on it and they say never they pull it off and the thing's totally caked up and a lot of times too with these trucks, for whatever reason is, when it starts needing air, it'll actually suck it up into the intake tube. Now it actually won't go through the intake, but it gets all crumbled up in here and tries to get pulled in. And then you start restricting airflow, you know, then at that point you're gonna have higher EGTs the whole nine yards and your truck's just not gonna run efficient. This air filter on this truck is super cheap to do and it's very easy. I have a truck, I'm gonna go over, show you guys a surge on it and, um, basically what it's doing now basically on this truck i'm going to talk about a little bit later too is these trucks are known for the mass airflow sensors to go bad it's basically like the glow plugs and injector pigtails for whatever reason these right up here the mass airflow sensor likes to go bad now basically i don't know if it has to do with people not cleaning their filters and it gets gummed up or it short circuits or whatnot but they are known to go bad, so say you're looking to diagnose this and you change the air filter and the truck's still having the same problem, your best bet is to probably just go ahead and replace the mass airflow sensor next. So that's basically just the steps, and I don't get why this is so overlooked. It's so cheap to do. So many people, you know, upgrade turbos, this, that, go crazy, maintain everything, the oil, but the most important thing is the air that your engine's breathing, and if that filter's clogged, you know, you have the possibility of sucking more dirt and all this other crap through your system, which is doing more damage, you know, changing your oil and all that stuff's great. Doing a spin-on filter is awesome. But at the end of the day, make sure you keep up on the air filter. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into the video of the truck surging, changing the air filter out, and hopefully that fixes the problem. It's nothing crazy, you know. It could be the mass airflow. I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping it's an easy fix. And also, two on these. Um, I've seen them that they look perfectly fine. And um, they still limit the airflow. So if you take the filter out and it looks fine, don't clean it out. You already have it out. You already have the whole box off. Just slap a new filter in. It's not that expensive. So let's dive into the video of the Surge. And we'll go from there. And one more thing too that I want to mention before we get into the video is when I said replace the air filter, only use OEM air filters on this box. Don't go K&N or some cheap Amazon filter. Anytime, that's with anything on the truck, you change the oil or whatnot. Use an OEM filter, air filter, whatnot. Don't cheap out on that stuff. You save a couple bucks, but in the long term, it's not worth it. I guarantee you open up a cheap Chinese air filter and doesn't have the same papering filters in it that this does is probably less volatile volume that it can filter so like i said only use the oem products on your truck when you're maintaining anything so without without further ado let's dive into the video i'm going to try to pick this shutter up on camera the best i can right here so so as you can see maybe you can hear it you can feel it more in the truck that it's kind of shuddering um, now it wasn't doing this before so it leads me to believe it's either the map sensor or the math the mass airflow sensor or the air filters clogged these trucks are known to suck it into the box so let's get back take that air box apart and uh, see what we're dealing with all right so we just got the box out and you don't have to take the whole intake out you can leave it in um, you just got to unscrew the Phillips head screws and then the box comes right out. If you have the whirly pipe, it makes it more difficult, but I just loosened this clamp, pulled it out. But as you can see here, it's not the worst I've ever seen. Definitely not good though. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this, take it for a drive and see if that fixes our problem. But also too on these trucks are known for eating up the, for whatever reason they're known for blowing through these mass airflow sensors. So if you do this and it doesn't fix the problem, then we'll go about replacing the mass airflow. But let me go ahead, get this box cleaned out, 
new air filter thrown in and uh, we'll go from there so we got the new air filter put in the box everything reinstalled so let's take it out on a drive and see if this fixes the problem sometimes it's the little stupid stuff but at the end of the day the air filter does have a big impact on the amount of airflow to the engine so we'll give it a try and uh, see if that fixed the problem or not okay so after driving it all seems to be good now it's definitely not the worst air filter i've ever seen i'm going to get on a little bit and just show you guys the hesitation is gone but like i was saying definitely not the worst air filter i've ever seen i definitely seen them 10 times worse than that sucked into the box so be sure to check your air filters regularly that's so neglected on these trucks and basically any diesel in general no one likes to change your air filters it's so simple to do but no one does it but also too if you end up getting around to replacing your air filter and you have this problem and you still have that hesitation you have an edge cts3 get the uh mass airflow sensor reading up on here and see if it's jumping around i have seen um them go bad it's a kind of a known problem on these trucks like injector pigtails so that's basically about it for this video if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe if you like this video be sure to leave it a big thumbs up be sure to check your air filters but until next time i'll see you guys in the next one take care